Hi, Ukulele Mike here with a little refresher lesson. This lesson's on just one chord, and that's the E minor chord. Very common chord, comes up in a lot of music, you're going to need to know it. A couple of little things about playing this chord. It is a spread chord, in other words, it goes between the second, third, and the fourth fret. Most chords are crammed up into the second and third, or up in the first fret. This one spreads out. Now, there are two different fingerings for this chord that you'll see routinely in chord charts and whatnot. Let me have you take a look at them right now. Okay, for my um, playing, I tend to like to play the third the three finger version. It's a lot easier. I don't have to cram all four fingers in there. And it, and really, quite frankly, the, the fourth finger over here on the fourth fret of the fourth string is redundant. You play all four strings, four strings open. I play the index finger on the second fret of the first string, the middle finger on the third fret of the second string, and the ring finger on the fourth fret of the third string. Okay, now, one thing you want to remember is that this chord gets a cleaner sound if you keep your hand parallel to the fingerboard. Don't have your hand like this, like for, like for the G chord or for the A, D7. Have your hand this way so that it's parallel to the fingerboard. That way these two fingers nicely arch over. They don't touch the Jason strings and you've got a nice clean sound. One little thing to watch out for. Most beginning players will typically layer on first layer, second layer, third layer in that fashion. First layer, second layer, third layer. Okay, you want it to be instantaneous, all three it together at the same time. That's the ultimate goal. So one little technique that I've used over and over again, and it's worked, uh, I would say, 100% of the time, is to have students consciously, and this is kind of a mind over matter thing, consciously start with the ring finger first, then the middle finger, then the index finger. Going backwards, ring finger, middle, index. Try that. And I think what you'll find if you do that quite a while, quite a bit, just over and over and over again, take your hand away, bring it back again, bring the ring finger in, middle finger, index finger, you're eventually going to be bringing both ends together, so to speak, so that it just comes down as a single chord. By the way, if I take that E minor chord and shift it over this way, Notice how I just shifted it over one string each towards my chin? That's a B7th. It's another form of B7th that's not barred, but played like so. And by the way, the B7th E minor have a very common relationship. You find them together in songs all the time. So there you are. E minor. Add that to your arsenal of tools and tips. And uh, be back for another refresher lesson soon. Happy strumming.